Okay, so Winebridge, for our work, is in a competition with Shopify to um, uh, do uh, folding at home and uh, in order to kind of donate C our uh, compute time to help find uh, treatments for COVID-19. And uh, so far, uh, it's been a really close race and we've been kind of, Minebridge is losing um, at the time that I make this video. And um, I wanted to see, you know, is there anything I can do to, um, uh, inc you know, improve our chances, uh, maybe increase our uh, folding rates so that Minebridge might be in with a chance of winning. Uh, I want to see if I can kind of level the playing field. Now this is a, a motherboard that I've had for a while, it's a server class motherboard, and I haven't had any memory for it, and this memory just arrived today. Um, I don't have uh, I don't have a case for this or anything like that, um, but my plan was to uh, put some fans on top of these heat sinks, um, not to use you know giant blowmatron fans, but just to use a couple of these little fans that I found, um, and put the memory in it, see if it boots. I I've never booted this board before, and then if it does work, the additional part to this is to put this Tesla K80 in it. And I even have a cable uh, so that I can actually connect it to the PCI bracket. So you need a server class motherboard to run these K80s, which was one of the reasons I bought this board to begin with. Was I thought I'll build a machine learning workstation. Um, you know, this is two six-core CPUs in here. Uh, they're pretty modern CPUs. Um, and the nice thing is I can I can put in a, a stack of memory in this. This will take like. I think this can go up to over half a terabyte of RAM. Don't really need that for folding, uh, but might need it for data science later. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can boot this thing up and see if I can get it to work. And hopefully um, I'll be able to install uh, the GPU in it. The other thing that's pretty hard to do is find uh, something that can uh, has an ATX power connector and then two of these um, CPU connectors on it. Those are kind of server class, so I had to take my uh, desktop power supply that I have that's a spare and uh, splice the cables and then I also have to find a way of powering this guy as well and that uses another one of these um, CPU connectors so again we're going to get creative with cables I think um, but let's see how this goes So here's the result. Um, I put the memory in and the board booted. And in other good news, um, I managed to connect the Tesla K80 through this long cable here and motherboard was pretty happy. Uh, really like these Zeus motherboards. Um, new memory is in. Um, these fans are a little louder than I had hoped um, and I put a couple on top of the K80. I just took the shroud off. Um, and uh, it's all working. So there's some dodgy wiring, um, extra dodgy over here, um, 750 watt power supply, and this has been running at 100% utilization for a few hours now, so I'm pretty comfortable that uh, this is working well. So um, from a perspective of, it, are the are, are the CPUs being cold? Totally, this is, this is you know, very normal temperature. The K80 is like the hottest part and various parts of this are at 70, 60, 70 degrees so um, it's pretty hot. This is what it looks like uh, and uh, so it's running running folding uh, at home um, and you can see um, the, the K80 is basically at its uh, full kind of 300 watt utilization most of the time and over here you can see the CPUs again. So two six cores, uh, so we basically end up with 24 threads, and it's not waiting at all. So actually, uh, it's been running for a few hours, and um, it's toasty, but it's working.